the common errors committed in the second category, that is, errors that are contradicting the sunnah of the fasting, is number one. Many people, they skip this suhoor. Some people, they have an early suhoor. That is, they have the suhoor one or two hours before the fajr time. In fact, suhoor is a blessing. Every Muslim should have it. And the Prophet said, we should delay the suhoor as much as possible. We should have it till just before the fajr time. The third mistake committed by Muslims in this category is that they delay opening their fast. They delay the iftar. And our Prophet Muhammad said that the people will be good as long as they hasten in breaking the iftar. That means immediately after sunset, they should break the iftar. The fourth common error in this category is that many Muslims, they read unauthentic dua during iftar. The most authentic dua, as far as iftar is concerned, is Zahab al-Zama, Wabtallati Uruku, Wasabat al-Arj, Inshallah. Which means that my thirst is quenched, the veins are moistened, and the Ajr is near, Inshallah, God willing. The reward is near, God willing. And some people, when they read this dua for breaking the fast, they say it before breaking the fast. Before they put their date in the mouth, they say this, and it is contrary to the meaning. The meaning says that my thirst has been quenched. Zahaba zama, waptalati uruku. My thirst has been quenched and the veins have been moistened. Your thirst cannot be quenched before breaking the fast. So normally it should be said, after you eat the khujur, after you have water and you're satisfied, maybe after some minutes, after you break the fast, then you can eat this dua. Zahaba zama, waptalati uruku, wasabat al ajr, inshallah. Which means, my thirst has been quenched, the veins have been moistened, the reward is near, inshallah, God willing. The sixth common error made by Muslims in this category is that many Muslims, they eat excessively during iftar. And many of them even eat throughout the night. The seventh common error is that many of them, they are negligent as far as Tarawih is concerned. Because Tarawih is not a fard, they think it is no problem if a Muslim misses Tarawih. Though Tarawih is not a fard, it's a very important sunnah. And a Muslim who misses Tarawih is missing a great deal of reward. And many Muslims who perform Tarawih, they read Tarawih very fast, 10 miles per hour. They try and finish it in a short time and they defeat the purpose. In fact, you should read with a moderate pace so that people understand and they grasp the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ninth common error is that those who go for itikaf in the mosque, many of them, they socialize during itikaf, as though it's a time to meet people and friends, which is totally contrary to the sunnah. The tenth common error is that many of the Muslims think that the Laylatul Qadr is on the 27th night of Ramadan. And they only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night. In fact, a beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, search for the Laylatul Qadr in the odd nights of the last 10 days, the last Ashra, the 10 days. Therefore, Laylatul Qadr can fall either on the 21st night or 23rd or 25th or 27th or 29th. So this is one of the common errors made by Muslims. The eleventh common error is that they spend their time during Ramadan in unproductive work rather than spending in zikr and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They should spend their time rather for offering besides the compulsory salah, the nawafil, the voluntary salah, the sunnah salah. The twelfth error made by the Muslims is that they should do dua. The 13th is they should ask for forgiveness. This is month of forgiveness. 
14th is they should read the Quran as much as possible to get the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The 15th is that they fast and they keep themselves hungry, but basically they're not mentally prepared for that fast. And it is as though they're staying hungry. But the main purpose of fasting to acquire taqwa is not obtained. This was in brief regarding the second category. Can you mention briefly, again, categorize the uh, common errors made in the third category? 